I just explained it to you. No, bro. It doesn't matter. Knock it no, off. I'm pregnant. You don't do that weird ass. Sh To ensure community safety and accountability, law enforcement responds quickly to intoxicated offenses. I have to go to work! You guys are going to cause me to lose my job! Please let me go to work! There's no one inside! Please let me go home! Please! I have to go to work! Please! Stop! You're not doing anything! You're not doing anything! Please! From someone driving a car in the wrong way, to someone who did not follow the traffic rules, here are some incidents. When dumb drunks think they're untouchable. Is there anything on you that's gonna stick poker? No, not at all. I swear. I don't have anything. The incident revolves around a woman named Jessica. On June 12, 2022, in Bradenton, Florida, officers noticed a woman was driving in the wrong direction. The officers initiated a traffic stop. The police questioned the woman for driving the wrong way. However, she could not provide any satisfactory answers. Hi, man. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm well. Did the officer tell you why he pulled you over? No. But obviously because I was going this way on the road. You are going this way on the road? Yes. Yeah. You realize it's the wrong way? Yeah. I'm not from here, but yeah. Where are you from? I moved here from New Jersey. Oh, from New Jersey? Yes. Okay. You visiting family, friends, personal? No, I, just, I moved here a couple months ago. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Well, um, just in the small interaction I've had with you, I have a little concern, um, especially since you're driving down the wrong way. I, Obviously. Yeah, so if you wouldn't mind, do you mind just stepping out of the vehicle? Yeah, absolutely. All right. I'm just going to have you come to the back of your car. Yeah. You okay? Sorry, I'm sorry. You're fine. Are you okay? I'm in heels. That's yeah, totally yeah. fine. <laughs> but, all right, so. Yeah. So you're from New Jersey. Uh, when did you move down to Bradenton? Uh, January. Back in January? Yeah. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. How are you liking it so far? All right. All right. Are you okay? Yeah? All right. So, you know, like I said, in the small interactions we've had, I have my concerns as well as the, that's actually my lieutenant. My lieutenant sees you driving down the wrong way. So, you know, Obviously. I want to ask you some questions in order for me, they might be incriminating. In order for me to do that, I'm going to read you your Miranda rights. Is that okay? Okay. All right. I'm just going to get that little pesky card out. So I'm going to call my brother, who is my... You want to call your brother? Uh, we, we can in a little bit. All right. So, all right. Like I said, I just want to ask you some questions. They're a little incriminating. In order for me to do that, I'm going to read you this. All right. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to an attorney and have him or her present with you before and during questioning. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you at no cost to you before and during questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? Yep. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me? No. No, you don't want to talk to me? No. All right, that's fine. Wait. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not gonna say it's that. No. Okay. All right, that's totally fine. All right. So, are you okay? I'm okay. Do you have any medical issues? Diabetes, epilepsy? No. Fake teeth? Anything like that? No. Do you wear contacts or um, glass eyes or anything like that? No. No. All right. So. You, you, you don't want to talk to me, that's totally fine, but I'm seeing signs of intoxication, which means okay. I don't believe you should be driving right now. Okay. All right. We, here in Florida, we have the standardized field sobriety test, which is a voluntary exercise. It's totally okay. up to you if you wish to participate. Um, I just want, I'm giving you the option to decide if you want to do them. They're voluntarily, just to prove me wrong, that you should be driving right now. Okay. Are you willing to do that? I am absolutely willing. Perfect. The police often conduct tests to assess the state of the suspects. However, the suspect's conditions often make it difficult for them to do the test properly. Thank you. That's all I ask. Yeah. And I'm not on my toes. You're to I was actually going to offer that to you. Okay? Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. So the first test is just going to monitor your eyes. I'm just going to observe your eyes. So all I'm going to have you do is put your feet together. All right. Hands flat against your side. Okay. And you're just going to stand like that during this exercise. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. All right. You don't wear glasses, contacts, nothing like that? No. Okay. So, do you see that blue light? Mm -hmm. All right. Are you able to touch that blue light? If you want. Go ahead. Go ahead and okay. touch it. Perfect. All right. So, with this blue light, you're going to follow this blue light with your eyes and only your eyes. Mm -hmm. All right. You're going to keep your head still throughout this exercise. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. All right. All 
All right, you don't have any sort of a medical diabetes, nothing like that. All right, how do you think you did? Pretty good? All right, you, you willing to still do the next exercise? Yeah. You'll probably see you on TV, it's the walk and turn? Yeah. All right. Are you able to bring your car just so that way I can use this line? Yeah. No car gets close to us? Well, I was a passenger buyer, so that he can see anything, but that a male and female or herd in a All right, mobile. do you see this little white line? Yeah. All right, once we get, move this car to make it a little more safer for you, we're going to use this white line. Okay. Okay. as embarrassing as fun. You know what's great is none of these people are ever going to see you again now. What's up? You right? Alright, perfect. Alright, can you see me? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to put you in a starting position. You're going to stay in that position while I explain and I demonstrate the exercise. Do you understand? Yeah. Alright, so you're going to put your left foot on the line, the white line. Okay. Your left foot. Alright, you're going to take your right heel, touching your left toes, right in front. Touching, hands flat against your side, and you're gonna stay in this while I explain and demonstrate the exercise. Do you understand? Okay. All right, so throughout the exercise, you're gonna take nine heel to toe steps, as so. One, two, three, so on until nine. You're gonna count on loud looking down. When you get to your ninth step, keeping your front foot on the line, you're gonna take a series of small steps to turn around, and you're gonna take nine heel to toe steps back. One, two, three. So on until you get to nine. All right, if at any time you step off the line, just get right back on, continue on at the step you stepped at. All right, okay. you're gonna look down at your toes, you're gonna count aloud, and you're gonna have your heel touch your toe in every step. Okay. Okay, do you understand? Yeah. All right, whenever you're ready, you can begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Feeling okay? Yeah. All right. How do you think you did? Fine. Fine? All right. That's, that's pretty good. All right. And then the last exercise, all right, so one leg stand. You still feeling all right? Yes. All right. So in the starting position, like before, you're gonna put your heels together, feet together, arms flat against your side. All right, you're gonna stay like that as I demonstrate and explain the exercise to you, okay? All right, whatever foot of your choosing, you're gonna lift it up six inches off the ground, parallel with the ground. You're gonna keep your eyes on the tip of your toe and you're gonna count out loud as so. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, so on until I tell you to stop, all right? Okay. If at any point you drop your foot, just pick it right back up and continue counting where you left off. Okay. All right, do you understand? Yes. All right. Now, one moment. All right. Whenever you're ready, go ahead. Fl arms are gonna stay flat against your side. One thousand one. Arms flat against your side. There you 1003, go. One thousand three. One thousand four. One thousand five. One thousand six. One thousand seven. One thousand eight. One thousand nine. One thousand ten. One thousand nine. Eleven. Twelve. 1,016, 1,017, 1,018. All right, you can relax. When suspects realize that the police will take action against them, they contact their loved ones when they are in trouble. However, the suspects had to follow legal processes to do it. Is that someone you trust to come get your car, though? That's someone who is the only person who I can actually trust. I'm in a... Right yeah, that's that's why I mean there's no friends or anybody, anyone that was downtown that you were hanging out with that no. would be able to come get this car. No, no he's the only person I can actually trust to get right now. Okay. Do you have any valuables in the car? No, I don't have anything actually. Okay. So you just want your phone and your wallet? Alright. Three first you try them. Can you make me prime and show me ten fifteen one time? He called me brother. He's a police officer. My brother is a police officer in in New Jersey, and I've never 
been in trouble my entire life. I just okay. I I okay. And I don't want to call him because I, I never I never asked my brother for like Take any you. type of anything. <laughs> Let's just get you that way, no one else is seeing you. I've never been in trouble my entire life. I. Yeah. My life is living in shambles the last month, and I just can't. Okay. Do you want to say it again, too? Alright. Is there anything on you that's going to stick, Poker? No, not at all. I swear. I don't have anything. Oh, and we're moving that around. It's, it's your seeds. It's their seeds. Okay. And, like literally cash. Okay, cash. Okay. Three, so you three. just I haven't eaten in three months because I've been so depressed with my breakup. Okay. So like three drinks has done me in. Okay. Hey, okay. hey. Listen. Hey, your brother's cash. Okay. We'll figure this all out. We'll get. We'll, I've never been to all my time. We'll let you call your brother. Okay? We'll figure this all out. Okay. Okay, is, are you willing to do that for me? All right, solid. Okay. Um, so, um, I think I saw it was Chris. Yeah. Michael. Michael. It's under, if you search Michael, my brother, it actually says Michael, my brother. Michael, your brother. Okay. Yeah, I don't talk to my brother all, right. all the time. So mind. if you right. search him in the top right corner, it'll find him. There you are. Jessica was charged with DUI. While Jessica cooperated with the police for her own benefit, our next individual broke the law and exacerbated the situation for herself. So here's the deal. Um, right now, you're gonna be placed under arrest for operating while intoxicated, okay? Oh. The incident centers around a 21 years old woman named Taylor. On January 8th, 2023, in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, an officer noticed a woman who did not come to properly stop at an intersection. The officer stopped the vehicle to investigate. When the police question suspects for initial information, they may notice something that heightens their suspicion. This prompts them to ask the suspect for the reasons behind it. Hello. Hi, I'm Officer Wanaki Oshkosh, please. I stopped you because you didn't come to a complete stop at the church oh, in Wisconsin intersection. Uh, I dropped my you... phone on accident. It's on aux. So gotcha. Like... Yeah, okay. Uh, where are you guys coming from today? We were just coming from my friend's house. Oh, where's where's that at? That's on Wisconsin Street. Wisconsin Street. Kind of over there. Well, no, not Wisconsin. Ninth Street. Ninth Street. Wisconsin is over there. Okay. It's so the ninth street. And where are you guys headed to now? Um, I was just going over here onto Otter Street. Oh, okay. Is that where you live? Yeah. Okay. Do you have a driver's license on you? Um, I should. Have. Is this your vehicle? Yeah. Uh, do you have insurance on your vehicle? Um. I do have insurance, but I'm just waiting on the insurance card. Okay, so you don't have you don't have the proof of insurance with you. I don't have the you? card right now. Okay. No. Where's my card? Okay, ma'am, do you do you have your driver's license on you or I anything like that? I have her card on. Okay, me, but she's she doesn't have a driver's license. I'm not sure. Okay. <clears throat> so 
here's the deal, Taylor. Um, yeah. The more honest you are with me, the more I can work with you, all right? Okay. Um, there's, there's a strong order of alcohol coming from the vehicle. Your speech is kind of slurred. Hey, how much have you had to drink today? Um, I honestly, I've only had like two shots. Two so. shots? How, I, I guess, how long ago were those two shots? This was like an hour 424, ago. I got a 27. I was at Peabody's like an hour ago, so. Okay. And then you went from Peabody's to your friend's house, or? Yeah. 424, and you said that you had two shots like an hour ago? Yeah, that was, was like an hour ago. I was at Peabody's, the bouncers know me, so I'm... Oh, okay. But ever since then, I've just been at my friend's house, and then I'm just making my way to my other friend's house. I'm dropping her off right now, so... Okay. And you're dropping, and your current address, ma'am, is, is on Otter. Is that where you're No, going? that's not her address. She's oh, just going to her oh, friend's make, house. Oh, makes sense. I'm, I'm just trying to obviously get an understanding what's going on. Yeah. 474, I got another 29. Okay, Taylor, so here's the deal. Um, because you said that, that you had just a little bit to drink, um, I'm going to have you just go through some standard field sobriety tests to make sure that you're safe to drive, all right? Okay. Um, it's very cold outside. Would you like, so this is, we're right in front of the Oshkosh Police Department here. We could walk over to the police department and do the fields where it's warm, or we can do them outside. I have but a jacket, babe. So you're, you're fine doing them outside? Yeah. Are you sure? Okay, is there any weapons in the vehicle? No. Any no. drugs, any large amounts, U.S. currency, anything like that? No. Okay. Officers can locate problematic individuals in a variety of ways. In this case, they were preparing to apply one such technique to obtain a clear idea. All right, I'm going to have you step over here on the sidewalk. Okay, I don't want you to get by a car. Over here. So are you sure you'd like to do these outside? Yeah, I'm cool. I don't have a jacket on. So okay. That's all right. Okay. Hey, Sarge. Can you uh, put my lights on standby, yeah. quick? Do you do you wear any contacts or anything like that? Um, I do wear contacts, but they're they're in, so they're fine. Okay, so but so you 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 have contacts in right now? Yeah. Um, how really long have you had those contacts in for? Um, I've had like six hours. Six hours. Okay, so not like overnight. You didn't sleep yeah, with them overnight. No. Nothing like that. But like okay. I do have vision impairing. Okay. Do you have glaucoma or anything? Any other health conditions with your eyes? Just just you use no. your contacts to see better. Yeah. Okay. Um, so here's the deal. Do you feel comfortable doing these tests? So one of the tests is like a walk and turn test. Uh, do you feel comfortable doing that right here? I mean, yeah, it's fine. Okay, because it's, it's just a sidewalk. There's, there's no ice, no snow, nothing like that. Um, so what I'm going to have you do is you're going to stand with your heels and your toes together, okay, just like okay. this, and then keep your arms down to your side, all right? And don't move from this position until I tell you to do so. Okay. What I'm going to do, this first test is going to be a test of your eyes, all right? I'd like you to follow the tip of my finger here with your eyes, and your eyes only do not move your head. Do you understand okay. that? Yeah. Can you see the tip of my finger? Yes, I can. Uh, can you reach out and touch it with your right hand to make sure perfect? Okay. All right. Now stay in this position. Remember, follow, your, follow the tip of my finger here with your eyes, and your eyes only do not move your head, all right? Okay. Okay, I'm going to go up now, so just follow it up and keep your head straight, okay? Okay. I can't go that high. Just look up <laughs> as high as you can. Can you tilt your head down a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Just keep your head like that, okay? It's okay? just straight. Okay, you can relax. Okay. All right, for, so for this next test, can you, can you imagine a straight line down the sidewalk here? Um, what we're going to do is we're going to back up just a couple blocks here, just okay. just like a couple sidewalks blocks right there. Perfect. You can stop and you can face me. Yep. Can you imagine a straight line on the sidewalk here? Yeah. Do you feel comfortable walking here? Is it free of, do you believe that it's free of ice and snow? Because this time of year, pretty yeah, level, free of debris. Salty, but okay. I mean, but do you still feel comfortable walking yeah, here? Comfortable. Okay. And can you imagine that straight line? Yeah. Okay. Do you, do you have any injuries with your legs, your knees, knee replacements, anything like that? Have you been injured recently with your no. legs? have you do is I'm going to have you put your left foot on that imaginary line that that you imagined okay then take your right foot place it heel to toe to your left all right and you're going to stay in this position with your arms down to your side do not move from this position and I'm going to explain the rest of the test okay so Taylor what you're going to do is you're going to take nine heel to toe steps down that imaginary straight line when you get to your ninth step you're going to keep your lead foot on the ground then you're going to use your rear foot to make a series of small steps to then turn around and you're going to take nine what more heel to toe steps back down that line i'm going to demonstrate it for you okay one and two three again i'm only going to take three for demonstration purposes but you're going to be taking nine when you get to that ninth step you're going to keep it on the ground use your rear foot to make a series of small steps to turn around okay then nine more heel to toe steps back one two Three. Again, I only took three, but you're going to take nine. It's okay. important during this test that you are looking down at your feet. You're going to be counting your steps out loud, Taylor. 
Okay, you keep those arms down to your side. You touch each step, heel to toe, and you do the turn like I demonstrated it and explained it to you. Okay, and you don't stop the test until you feel the test has completed. Do you understand okay, that? So is this step one or? So again, I'm going to demonstrate it. So you're in, you're in this position right now. Okay, um, keep those arms down to, to your side for me. I know they're probably right, cold. I know I'm cold. Um, but so you're in this starting position here. Your first step is going to be one. Okay. okay? Right. Do you have any other questions about this test? No, that's Okay, you may begin the test whenever you'd like. Okay. One, two. Keep those arms down to your three, side, Taylor. Sorry. Four, five, six. Sorry. Okay, are you finished? Yeah. All right, you can turn around and face me. Can you give a PBT? Okay. All right, Taylor, so what I'm gonna have you do, again, you're gonna stand with your heels and your toes together, okay, and keep those arms down to your side. So this next test is a one leg stand test, all right? You're gonna be standing on either your left or your right leg. You're gonna raise that leg approximately six inches off the ground, all right, which is the size of a soda can or a dollar bill, all right? You're gonna keep both arms down to your side, both legs are gonna be straight here, and this toe is gonna to be horizontal to the ground, pointed outward like this, okay? You're gonna look down at your toe that you're raising, and you're gonna count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and you're gonna keep counting until I tell you to stop, all right? Do you understand that? Yeah, I'm just kind of cold. Okay. <laughs> That's why I asked you if you wanted to go inside, right, yeah, to do the cool. test. All right, which leg do you think you're gonna raise? Um, probably the left one. Probably the left one, yeah. okay. So it's important during this test, keep both arms down to your side. Again, you're raising that foot six inches off the ground. All right, you're looking at your toe, both legs are straight and you're counting, your, you're counting out loud until I tell you to stop, all right? Okay, so do you have any questions about that? No. All right, you may begin. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. Keep those arms to your side. Okay, sorry. 1,006. 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010, 1011, 1012, 1013. Can you look at your foot for me? 1001, 1050, 1060, 1070, 1080, 1090, 1020, 1020. Okay, you can stop. Okay. Um, okay. Do you. Hey, Sarge. Got that PBT. Okay. <laughs> Um, so Taylor, uh, on a scale of one to ten, one being absolutely bone cold, sober, yeah. ready to go to church in the morning, okay? I'm honestly or, a three. I'm okay. not too f up, okay. but I'm a little bit there. So it you is you put your cold outside. I wish I would have just told you to yeah. come inside because that's why I asked you multiple times, right? Yeah, and you kept I insisting know, to do them out here. I just felt like my jacket would keep me warm enough. But... I hear you. Um, so this next test here, this is not admissible in court. Basically, this is a tool for me to see if the if I saw any clues of impairment during those tests, if it was due to alcohol or some other illicit drug, okay? Um, so what you're gonna be doing on this, you're gonna be blowing like you're blowing up a balloon, all right? Um, all right, until I tell you to stop. Go, go, hard, hard, harder, go, go, harder, 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 go, 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 There you go. Do you know what the legal limit Wisconsin is? No, I have no idea. Okay, so it's .08. Would you put yourself do you think you're, you're above that, or do you think you're below that right now? I think I'm below that, honestly. I'm pretty good at driving. The suspects attempt to convince the police of their innocence and seek to show them that they are innocent. They now turn to their friends for assistance in handling the circumstances. Do, do you feel intoxicated at all? I've only took a couple shots, so like honestly, I don't know why. What, I guess, what type of liquor were you drinking? I was drinking Hennessy. Hennessy? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, right now, you're gonna be placed under arrest for operating while intoxicated, okay? Oh, okay. So. And how long is this for? Well, this is your second offense, right, Taylor? Um, Have you been arrested before? Yeah. I've been arrested for marijuana. Like, like operating motor vehicle with marijuana in your system? Um, well, they have no proof, but I okay. guess, yes. Okay. Um, so it's it's gonna take about I would say about an hour. Now you, you don't have to go to jail if okay. if uh, you have somebody that's sober. Four seventy four. Taylor's ninety five or five five.
Uh, if you have somebody that's sober that can pick you up after all the process is I done. I honestly don't know if I have my phone on me right now. Is it, is it in the car? Like, I just don't know if it's on me right now. Yeah. Is, it might is, be is, in the is, she, is she sober? Yeah. No. It's in the she car. Okay. It's in the car. All right, we're going to go back to my car over here, Taylor, okay? So once this is all done, we'll get some phone calls um, and see if we can find somebody to come pick you up, okay? Okay, thank you. Have fun. All right, just hold on one second. I just got to make sure you don't have anything else okay, in your pockets. I know I already searched no, you, but fine. but I have to just double check, okay? okay. All right, Taylor, you can hop in the back, all right? Ooh, there you go. The seats aren't very comfortable. Um, but it's it's just, we'll get the paperwork done. We'll get you home, okay? Okay, so who... Whoever that's sober, that's, a, that's that an adult. Has a license. Well, they have to get to the hospital. So we're going to go to the hospital to do the process. Um, and once that's can done. Can you ask my best friend in there if yep. she can find somebody to pick can me up? Can you look that way? I'm going to put your seatbelt yeah. on for you. Thank you. Yes, we can talk with Odessa here um, and see and see if she can find somebody to come pick you up. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay, All right. Well, unfortunately, a little too much tonight. So she's got to go to the hospital. Hospital. Yeah, for a blood draw, and then she can be released. Okay. To test the amount of alcohol in her system, we do a blood draw. Like, do that with the blow thing. For first offense, that's what we do, but not, not for second offense. So, so we're gonna take her to Mercy Hospital. If you got someone that can come pick her up there, you have her phone right now. You said, okay. I'll bring that over to her so she can make some calls. Thank you. So I'm gonna go to jail. No, no. So I mean, like, like tonight you're not gonna go to jail, right? Okay. So tonight, if you find somebody that, if you can find somebody after the after we're all done to come pick you up and they're sober, they can come pick you up. Now, if we can't find anybody, then that's when you have to go to jail for 12 hours. Um, but so they have to have a license. Well, they have to get to the hospital, right? So, I mean, they don't have to have a license. So technically, because my best friend wasn't drinking, she could pick me up? Yes, she, just as long as she can get to the hospital safely, right? Without driving. Because I do have a baby at home. I'm like, my son just passed away, so that's the only reason I'm really out here breathing. I hear ya. Open bottle of wine in the passenger. I picture the name, so I have to report. Yeah. I'll dump it. Perfect. I got your phone for you. Um, okay. Go into my messages. Okay. It says maybe duty. No, it's up. Right there. Second one. Yep. Oh, okay. Can you please call him and just tell him to pick me up? And what's his first name? His name is Antoine. It's about how to do 11. That sounds like this nail. Hi, is this Antoine? Uh, what is? Hi, this is Officer Wanaki Ashkosh Police. Hey, Taylor is having me call you right now off of her cell phone. Uh, she was arrested for operating while intoxicated, and in about an hour, she needs somebody that's sober to come pick her up from the hospital so that she doesn't have to go to jail. Is that something that you can help her with? Yeah, what hospital? Uh, Mercy Medical Center. Uh, where did I say? Uh, the city of Oshkosh, yes. We should be we, we should be done in about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. After their suspicions were confirmed, they carried out their assigned task according to the standard operating procedures. Taylor, I understand that, but we can't we can't move your car. I so literally cannot pay 150. My son just passed away. Like, what are you going to get about saying, that shit? My car's right what's, there! What's... What's she just she get upset about the toll? Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. We can uh my three month old dad just died. We can just take care of it here. I'll take care of it. Considering the circumstances here. Hey, hey, Taylor, Taylor. Taylor, um, Taylor, Taylor, listen to me. Listen to me. Sergeant Roberts is going to take care of your vehicle to make sure that it doesn't get towed, okay? Hey, Taylor. Hey, Taylor. I'm literally paying for my son to 
Hey, Taylor. <laughs> Bro, like... Taylor, you give me permission to move your car into the parking lot here? I really just want you to because I okay. can't pay for that shit yeah. right now. I'm paying for my son to get cremated. Like, yeah. I so might listen, be listen. drunk, but, like, honestly, yeah. like, this is a lot of shit for okay. me. Here's, here's where it comes in where... The reason that we have usually we don't move people's cars is because of liability. Where I all know, of a sudden, but I don't listen, care. I just listen, want me to save my uh, money. Because yeah, I'll help I, you. I'll help you because you you've been cooperative and decent with us. And considering the circumstances going on in your life right now, you're a real rough patch. I'm really I'm gonna help you out, okay? But I don't want to hear. Hey, I had a thousand dollars in the cup holder, and then no, Sergeant I Roberts drove the car because that's I don't that's have the. We usually at don't, all. okay? Like, honestly, I'm fighting to get my son cremated. Right. So, like, I'm gonna move it. Here's where it's gonna be. The reason why I'm here tonight is because yeah. I'm hurt as a f I'm and I know I shouldn't be yeah. driving. That's my fault. Okay. Hey, Taylor, so I'm gonna move the car into the parking lot here, lock it up, and the keys are gonna go with you. You, your friend, or someone can come pick it up from the lot later. Okay, okay. it's a, it's a weekend, it's not gonna cause any problem, but make sure it gets out of here by for business on Monday, okay. All right. So he's my supervisor, right? That's why I was saying to you I couldn't do that, but he's my supervisor. He can make that decision, right? Okay. So I, I wasn't trying to be hard on you. I was just saying that me... I understand that, Taylor, and I'm sorry to hear that, okay? But we're going to we're gonna get through this. Your friend Antoine's going to come pick you up in, a, in about 45 minutes to an hour, and then we'll, we'll, you'll be able to get home, okay? Perfect. All right, we're getting going. All right. Sam, 474. 474. I got Taylor on board and route to Mercy for blood. 236 is following. Starting is 7.0. 7.0. So when, when we get um, close to being done, we'll give Antoine a call, okay? Make sure that he's close, all right? Does it sound good, Taylor? Well, that's okay. That's okay because it's going to take about 45 minutes to get the paperwork done. So it should be perfect. You should be coming here as soon as we're done. So I'm going to get a DUI charge. You're going to get an operating while intoxicated charge. Second offense, yes. Second offense. So what does that mean? Um, well, it's you, you'll have a mandatory court date. I'll, I'll explain all the paperwork when we get there. Um, but you'll just have a mandatory court date, okay? Well, but I lose my driver's license. I, I, I can't. I, I, I'll go over that paperwork. I haven't had a DUI charge since I was 17 years old. And when, and when was that? That's four years ago. Four years ago? Okay. And, like, honestly, I'm going through a lot right now, and I can't do this. Taylor, you're going to get through it. It's okay. You'll be all right. three-year-old daughter, and I just lost my son. Like, I understand that I shouldn't have did what I did. I shouldn't have drove, but I didn't know I was over the legal limit. I'm 21 years old. I don't know what the legal limit is. Like, I understand what it is, but what... What does it take to get over that? You know? I hear ya. I don't know. We're, hey, Taylor, just take it one step at a time, all right? Just because you're being charged with it doesn't mean you're going to be convicted of it. It's just... It's just that, like, I don't know what the going on. Well, I'll explain the process to you when we get to the hospital, okay? At least you don't have to go to jail tonight, right? I know. Do you, do, you, do you have any open cases right now, Taylor? Not right now, no. I have any, any legal troubles in three years. Okay. In Wisconsin, the legal limit is 0 0.08. So I'm 0 0.7. I, I, I don't know what your blood alcohol concentration is yet because I have to get a sample of your blood. So but if I don't get my blood, I'll get revoked regardless. If you don't give your blood, I'll go through that paperwork with you. If you don't give your blood, then I'll have to get a search warrant for it. Um, but I'll go through that paperwork so with you. So you're going to have to get a search warrant. That takes 24 hours. I, I'll explain all that paperwork once we get in there, so okay? You don't take me to jail for 24 hours if but I don't give you my blood. That's not, that's not the case. Let, let, let me explain the paperwork once we get in there, okay? And then I'll, that should answer your questions, all right? Okay. okay. I have the keys on. Okay. All right, Taylor, hop out for me, all right? All right, come over here. I just gotta grab. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll grab your belongings in a second. We'll, we'll walk over here. I, I 
signal I have to hold on to, so here's the deal. Taylor was charged with operating while intoxicated, failure to obey a traffic signal, and keeping open intoxicants in a motor vehicle, while Taylor's intoxication landed her in trouble, while our next individual's aggression only worsened his circumstances. You ain't placed on arrest for DUI. Wow. DUI? You ain't, you, ain't, you, ain't, you, ain't, you ain't even go, you ain't even go to all uh, court. What? A man named Alavis Crown takes center stage in this incident. On February 7th, 2024, in Groveland, Florida, an officer responded to a call about a man with a vehicle stopped in the middle of the road. The officers hurried to the address to observe further. Upon approaching the vehicle, the officers observed Alavis in the driver's seat and proceeded to question him. Your window doesn't lower down, sir? No, it's not. It's not, it's not. All right, man. How you doing, man? I'm Officer Minos from the Grove Police Department. You got license yeah. registration proof, yeah, yeah, sir? Yeah, what is this? This is my uh, my registration. All right, man. Um, so real quick, man. The reason for my traffic stop. Okay, that's wet. Don't worry about your registration. Okay. Give me a uh, license okay. and proof of insurance. What is that wine you got right there? Where? Where? Right there on the floor. Where? No, I'm asking for your license and and, and, uh, I don't know. and registration. All right, man. Look, real quick, man. I'm gonna ask you a quick question, all right, man? Um, you had anything to drink today? No. Okay, so I'm gonna let you know the reason for my traffic stop, okay? Okay. You're swaying really bad back and forth at a slow rate okay. of speed. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for that. Okay. Um, I'm also getting a strong odor of alcohol, okay? okay. No, I, I, I haven't. You haven't? Okay. All right, man. So, you mind taking off your seatbelt for me, man? Are you able to provide me with your license? Yes, I am. 160 to 115. Wanna be 51? Just shut off the vehicle for me real quick, boss. Is it in park? Yep, yeah, it, it is in park. You spilled the liquid, man. What'd you spill all over the car? Where are you coming from? I'm coming from, I'm coming from work. Coming from work? Where's work? Um, um, uh, yes. Where's that at? It's, uh, it's, 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 it's down the street. It's down the street? Where's down the street? Don't even worry about your license and, and, and everything else, all right, man? Um, what's your name of Ditter Bird? And your name? I'll take this from. Oh, there, there's your license. That fixes every issue now. All right. Yeah, that's my Thank license. you, man. Yeah. All right. You live in Miami still? No, no, no. I'm, no? I'm, 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 I can tell you, I'm leaving from work. Okay. All right. All right, man. Um, any guns, drugs, bazookas, no, no, dead bodies in the vehicle? Nothing. All right, man. Just sit tight for me, okay? Alright, right. take out the keys for me. Alright, just set it on the dashboard for me, alright? The keys of the vehicle. Alright, appreciate it. Does your window lower down? No, no, no. Alright, just leave the door open, alright? Okay, okay. Okay. Octavius? Right, that's your name? We got two good, uh, High-grade uh, body cameras. I got yours and I got mine now. I'm just trying to work with you, man. I'm asking you where you work at and you don't want to tell me. <laughs> you telling me why you stopped you? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> you telling me about the calls you got? No. But I should. Mr. I don't want to butcher your name, man. Altavius. Correct me if I'm wrong. Sorry about that. But I'm but, um, just going to let you know that we got several calls saying that you were stopped in the middle of the road. Um, that you were going 10 miles per hour in a 55 mile per hour zone. It was no call. Say that was. It was no call? How would you know that? 
because I know you that scanned I, my radio. I, I, I wasn't. I wasn't. Okay. All right. Well, if other people said you were, and you're saying okay. you wasn't. Okay. Uh, I'm done talking to you guys. Okay. Yeah. You don't need to talk, man. That's okay. that's cool, man. I love I love you guys for doing you guys got job. Yes, sir. You don't need to talk, man. You're good. No worries. Like I say, I'm just trying to go home. I got you. I got you. I'm trying to go home, too. By the end of my shift. It's cold out here, man. You in shorts and a shirt? Man. The officers employed a technical method to detect his state. Typically, suspects are unstable enough to follow instructions, and their anxiety often leads them to engage in unlawful activities. Yeah, so when you exit the vehicle, because I can't close it on you and exit the vehicle, okay, so once you exit the vehicle, we'll do all right. to do that. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and, um, is that your vehicle? Yeah, back to the car. Right here, oh, so here, boss. Don't right. man. Come on, man. Don't you gonna walk into the middle of the road, man. Right, yeah. I'm on, saving yeah, you. Yeah, right, yeah, rush me, 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 me. No, you yeah. gonna walk That's into the middle right there, man. Look. Well, I, I, I been there, but we gotta be careful. People sometimes they don't they don't move over. That's why we went to you like this. No, yeah, yeah. We don't want you to get hurt. Yeah, rushing me. Oh yeah, because you were about to get on the on the lane. Okay. See right there. Block the whole lane. No, 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 because y'all rushed me. Well, yeah, because you were walking in the lane. That's dangerous, man. What if a car is coming? It would have hit you and all the, the, and the two officers. Yeah, yeah. Did you, see, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. But no, so just block the number one lane, not both lanes. Just the number one lane. Yeah. I'm going to take that phone from you, okay? No, this phone. I'm going to go put it on your car. No. Why, Any other why phone? Why would you do that? Huh? Why would you do that? Because you can't be holding stuff while you're doing this. All right, this is what I want you to do. You feel comfortable in those slides? All right, this is what I want you to do, okay, sir? Feet together, like mine. Like mine. Heel, heels together, toes together. Heels together, toes together. Okay, no, sir. Heels together, toes together. Heels so together, heels touching heels. Okay, I, I did that, and then you, then you keep telling me something else. No, sir. See, your toes are not touching. You see how mine are? Because, like because that, just like that. There we go. There we go. Well, I'm bigger than you. Okay, so if I'm able to do it, you're able to do it. All right, hands by your side. Okay, main in that position to tell you to do something. Do you have any questions? No. Okay. Are you under care of a doctor? Other than normal visits? No. Under care of a dentist? No. Right. You have uh, seizures? No. Okay. You wear glasses, obviously, yeah, for far-sighted, near-sighted, or what? Uh, far-sighted, near-sighted. Far-sighted, near-sighted? Yeah, by chance, can you take off your glasses for me real quick? I can't see. Okay. Well, I'm going to... I can't no. see. I can't see up here. Let me see this. Take, take them off. Are you... I can't see up here. Well, give me one second. Okay. Can you show me fingers I'm holding up? Two. Yeah. Two. How many now? Well, take them off. I need you to take Four. them off. How many now? Four. Okay, now. Five. Five. Keep them off, sir. Stop taking them off. I can see. Okay. Can see. Well, you're, you're telling me what it was a one. One. Two. Okay. Four. So you can obviously see from this distance pretty clearly. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep them off then, okay? So I need you to take them off for me. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. Okay. That's why I asked you oh, if you want to put on your thing. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. All right. So remember how I told you? Feet together, hands by your side. Sir, feet together, hands by your side. Hands by your side, feet together. Sir, feet together. Toes together, sir. You want me to, you want me to stand very Sir, do you not see how my feet are? Like I said, I'm not no, towards me. So not 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 that, that I stand towards you. You tell me. Not I don't need you to walk up towards me. I need you to stand how I'm standing. Okay. Like I said, I'm bigger than you, so if I'm able to do it, it's you're able to do it. Like it's and cold. I'm it's I'm cold. just as cold as you. Okay. Okay. Hands by your side. Okay. The quicker you do this, the quicker that we can move on the process. All right. All right. Uh, 
diabetic? Yes, I am. You're diabetic? Uh, yes. Yes? Okay. Are you, are you, when was the last time you took insulin? Uh, maybe, uh, today. Today? Okay, what time? Do you take that hit normally every day? Yes, normally every okay. day. Yes. All right. And when's the last time you ate? Um, maybe in the last couple of hours. Couple of hours. Okay. All right. You take, did you take insulin during that time? Yes, I did. You did. So you, you took it a couple hours, but you just told me you took it earlier today and this morning. I don't know what you're talking about. What you saying? Your insulin. My insulin. I took it. I took it the same amount of time. Same amount of time. What yes. time did you take it? How do you keep track of your blood sugar? Whenever, whenever I, I feel like I'm going down or something like that, I, I can feel it. Oh, so you don't take, you don't prick your finger or have a monitor on you? Yes, I do. You do? Where's that like coming from? Um, probably home. At home? Yes. You don't carry that with you on a normal basis? Yes, I do. But you don't have it. I don't have it right now. Okay. Right. Right. So remember what I told you? Feed together against the right side? Yes. I told you to remain in that position. Go back here. So go back here. Just in the position, please. Okay, very fine. Yeah. So, can you see my light? Can you see my light, sir? Okay, what color is my light? Green. Green? Can you touch that with your right index finger? And then put it right back? Okay. I want you to do, I want you to follow the light with your eyes and your eyes only. You're not moving your head, you understand? But you got this light in okay. my eyes. But it's not flashing, it's flashing down, okay? okay. Do you understand? You understand, sir? Yeah. You... I understand that I'm gonna follow this green light with your hand. No, follow the green light with your eyes and your eyes only. You're not moving your head. But what I'm telling you that that's that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, don't move your head, okay? Do I you said don't move my head? Don't move your head, just follow with your eyes. Okay, if if you you gonna you gonna show? Yes, sir. I'm gonna move it, and you're just okay, gonna fall with uh, your eyes. Your eyes only. If, Take if, your hands out your pocket. If, if, if that's Keep case, by your side. Yes. By your side, sir. Yes. By your side. Okay. All right. Fall with your eyes. Your eyes only. Don't move your head. Okay. Don't move your head, okay? You understand? Side, sir. Be together. Be together, sir. Be together, sir. That's crazy. That's you you're trying to force me to. Uh, to force you doing yes, you is because I'm doing everything that you're telling me to do. Well, you're not because I told you to put your hands by your side. I, 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 have, I, have, I, have, my, I have my hand by my side and I'm, and I'm so folding your, everything. Your hands are behind your back and you're okay. by your side. And you're by, by my side. Together. By my side. Not in your pockets, by okay. your side. Okay? And just be together. Okay? You trying to force me. Because you, you trying to force me. That's crazy. You trying to force me, bro. And I'm sitting here telling you that. Alright, it's gonna go up now, okay? Ball with your eyes and your eyes on, okay? I don't know how far I can I can, I can look up, bro.
Let's hang tight with this officer. I'll be right back, okay? Yeah, oh, man. You can lean against Bullshit. the vehicle if you want, man. Bullshit. Hey, 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 hey. Lean against the vehicle, man. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. I did everything. I did everything, bro. Why are you so wet, man? Man, listen. I, I, I can piss on myself as much as... I pissed on myself. Yeah? Oh, man. I'm finna piss on myself right now. Yeah? Oh, man. Y'all gonna, um... Y'all gonna what? <laughs> I did everything this man told me to do, bro. Suspects often stop the process to escape. The results of the officer's inspection of him surprised them. Then they took the necessary action. So are you doing, are you gonna do an exercise? I am gonna do it, So I'm assume cold, the position, okay, sir. Yeah. Show me, show me, show me that you can do it. Left foot on the line. Show me that you can do it from right here. Sir, I need you to put your left foot on the line, right foot in front of the left foot. Heel so you're together. not going to do it? Hands right okay, side. Okay, I'm going right. to demonstrate right. it for you. Do it, do, demonstrate no, it from right here, from right here. Okay. From right here. Either you're going to listen and, and, and try, do the exercise. I'm, I'm showing gonna you what I want you to demonstrate it from right here. Okay. So listen, either you're going to assume the position. So don't you interrupt not, me. Stop interrupting not, me. Uh, Stop it, interrupting it, me, okay? It's not. Either it, I'm going to assume gonna go the position. Trial, bro. Are you going to assume the position? You want, it's not. Are you going to assume the trial. position? 10-4. Any place on the rest of the year? Wow. DUI. You ain't, you, ain't, you, ain't, you, ain't, you ain't even go You ain't even go to all uh, court. What? You ain't even go to court for me. Okay. Well, we'll see you in court. Wait, can I, can I, can I, can I, um... Alavis was charged with DUI and resisting arrest, while Alavis was breaking the law and resisting arrest. Our next individual was engaging in suspicious activities, albeit not to the same extent. All right, so what I'm gonna have you do, place both feet in front of you, shoulder width apart, and sit on the front seat, on the edge of the seat. This incident is centered around a female. On April 2nd, 2023, in Palm Beach, Florida, during patrolling, an officer observed a female with a boat crossing the speed limit. The officers stopped the boat to investigate further. Upon stopping the vehicle, the officers made contact with the female. During this interaction, suspects often do not cooperate with officers. Sometimes they refuse to accept the rules of the law. Okay, you mind pulling up next to me real quick? Okay, we're coming, we're coming to you. You have the registration on board? No, I don't. No? I have no idea. Is this your boat? No. No? I was literally just trying it out. I haven't run it. We're literally right over there. I was just taking it back. I was okay. just trying it out. So, you don't know, do you know whose jet ski this is? It's my friend. Your friend? Yeah, on the island. Okay, do you have your ID with you? No. No? All right. Have you had anything to drink today? Earlier. How much you have to drink? Just like a couple drinks. Like okay. Two. two? Couple. All right. I did not know that there was a speed limit throughout here. Yeah, it's, it's slow speed all year round. That's why everybody else has been going slow. So. I have no idea. This is my first time at Flo Tokyo. Okay. I'm literally going right there. You guys can follow me there. I don't want any issues okay. or anything. So also when you're operating a jet ski, your Piet, the life jacket has to be zipped up fully and buckled. Okay. You mind stepping on board for me? You, uh, buckle that up for me and then step on board. I want to check your eyes and make sure you're uh, all right to drive. Are you a Florida resident? Yes. Yeah. Are you guys serious? I'm literally going right back there. I just need to make sure you're all right to drive, okay? I'm going to grab my hand and help you on board. Go ahead and walk through here. I'm gonna sit you up front. All right, did you get her ID? You're gonna go she doesn't have an ID. Can you tell? Go up there and sit on that seat for her. Get her name, Dan. That right here for me. However, the officers suspected her behavior. After that, they decided to conduct a method to assess her condition. After that, they decided to conduct a method to assess her condition. All right, do you have any uh, physical defects or disabilities? I have dyslexia and ADHD. Okay. 
<clears throat> Do you have any defects with your eyes? Any problems I with your eyes? Contacts. Contacts? Are you wearing them right now? Yes. Okay. Are you sick or injured? No. Are you under the care of a doctor or a dentist? As needed. Okay. Are you taking any medications or drugs? Medication for ADHD. Okay. Alright, go ahead and follow my finger with your, uh, your eyes for me. So what I'm going to have you do, place both feet in front of you, shoulder width apart, and sit on the front seat, on the edge of the seat. You just go forward a little bit more. All right, you comfortable and stable? I guess. All right, so now what I'm going to have you do is make two fists with both hands and extend the index fingers and turn your palms forward by your side like this. When I say begin, tilt your head back to about 45 degrees and close your eyes when I say begin. Okay. It's going to be like this. It's going to be about 45 degrees. I'm not going to close my eyes for demonstration purposes. So you're going <clears> to <throat> keep your uh, hands down by your side. When I tell you to, touch the tip of your nose with the tip of your index finger and immediately return it to your side. So you're going to like this right now. When I tell you to touch the tip of your nose, the tip of your index finger, immediately return it to your side. When I say right, you must touch your right index finger to your nose. When I say left, you must touch the left index finger to your nose. Do you understand? So this is going to be the tip of your finger. This is the side, side pad. Just the tip of your finger to the tip of very tip of your nose, okay? Begin. Wait till I wait till I give you the instructions, okay? All right, begin. Left, right. Left. Right. Right. Left. So now I'm going to need you to place your hands palm to palm with one hand up and one hand down. It's going to be like this. Remain in this position while I explain the task. Do you understand? When I tell you to begin, turn the top hand over and count one out loud and <clears throat> turn the hand back over and count two. Counting when hands make contact like this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Repeat this, speed up as you go, do not stop until told. Make sure to keep your hands and fingers parallel during each pat, like this. Just make sure they're as parallel as it can be. Do you understand? Yes. Do you need me to repeat the instructions? No. Okay. Yeah. You can begin. Am I supposed to count one, two, or are you? You'll, you'll count two? one, two. Speed up. Okay. All right, so now I need you to make a fist with both hands. Place your left fist at the center of your chest and your right fist against your left fist. Be like this. <clears throat> Remain in this position while I explain the task. You understand? I just have a question. Why am I going through all of these? It's uh, to see if you're good to drive. I've passed every single test. Like, I don't know why we're still We, we have to go through the whole process, okay? When I say begin, you must perform four tasks. The first task is to count out from one to four while you move your fist in a step-like fashion, making contact with your fists between each step. So it'd be like this. One, two, three, four. Don't practice for me, all right? 
The second is to memorize your hand position of your fist after you have counted to four, clap your hands three times, and return your fist to the memorized position. So it'll be one, two, three. The third task is to move your fist in a step-like fashion in reverse order, counting out loud five to eight. That's too many steps. I'm not going to remember all that. Can we just go one by one? So for the third task, you're going to move your hands in a step-like fashion in reverse, counting out loud five to eight, and returning your left fist to your chest. Five, six, seven, eight. The fourth task is to open your hands, palms down, and place them on your lap. Like that, okay? Do you understand? Or do you need me to repeat no, it? No, but we're, you said we're going to go through it as we go, so... Do, do you want me to repeat the, the instructions? No, because that was a, that was three steps of instructions. So you don't want me to repeat the instructions? You just said you was going to go through it as we go, right? You have to do them all together, okay? Okay. Begin. So you're going to say what I'm going to do? You said you were going to say it I, as we I go. can't walk you through it. You have to... Okay, then repeat the instructions. Okay. Make fist with both hands, place left fist to the center of your chest and your right fist against your left fist, like this. Again. When I say begin, you must perform four tasks. The first task is to count out loud. So can we go task by task? We because cannot. Because you're giving me four tasks and you expect me to remember four tasks. We cannot go by task by task. Okay. We have to do this in order, okay? The first task is to count out loud from one to four while you move your fist in a step-like fashion making contact with your fists at each step. Okay. One, so can I do that two, now and then we can move to the next one? No, you cannot. Okay. The second task is to memorize your position of your fists after you've counted to four. Clap your hands three times and refresh your, turn your fists to the memorized position. One, two, three. The third task is to move your fists in a step-like fashion in reverse, counting <clears throat> out loud five to eight and returning your left fist to your chest. One, oh, sorry. Five, six, seven, eight. The fourth task is to open your hands and palms face down and return them to your lap. Like this. Okay. You understand? Sure. Okay, begin. One, two, three, four. And then I go backwards. Five, six, seven. Return the palms. All right, the last one. I need you to go ahead and stand up for me. During the inquiry, the officers found a discrepancy in her activities. At that time, the suspects became argumentative and worsened the situation. Go ahead and place your hands behind your back. Why? You're being under arrest for BUI. I passed all the tests. You did not. Go ahead and uh, stand no, up for me. No, 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 stand no, up no, for no, me. no, no. Stand up which, for me. Which test did I not pass? I need you to stand up for me. All right, ma'am. It's going to be, it'd be further charges if you resist arrest. I just want to understand what test I did not pass because he put me so, through like 10 tests. I, I literally gotcha. didn't understand that time, there was a wake period. At this period. time, this officer has already determined that you're going to be placed under the arrest, okay? For what? I would for like to for understand boating, for what? It's boating under right. the influence. And which right. test did I not pass? All right, so it's it's observation. Which it's test did I not pass? Ma'am, at this Dude. time, you need to put your hands behind your back, okay? Are you serious? Yes, yes ma'am. Stand up for, for me. For what? Stand up. All right, put your hands behind your back. Go ahead and have a seat for me. I'm going to go ahead and zip this up for you. Based off my observations, what observations? Coming, on, coming to contact with you on the vessel. I, I did not know the rules around here, to be completely honest with you. I thought I was going slow. I don't know the rules. I know it's different for Flotopia, but I did not know the rules. So, that's a different thing. Due to my observations, after talking to you on the vessel, 
I had to smell. We didn't talk. I've been around people that are drinking all day long. All you did was do a bunch of tests, and I completed all of them. We're not going to argue about it. So what's going to happen now? I, they literally are here on the boat. I can get on the boat. Nobody is going to drive the jet ski. If that's what, if you think I'm intoxicated and driving a jet ski, I will literally get on that boat and not drive a jet ski. So next steps are we're going to take you to gun club jail. You'll have the opportunity. In a swimsuit? Are you serious right now? They'll provide you clothes. No. You're going to have the opportunity to provide, provide a breath sample. If you choose to do so, we'll go over that when we get there. I'm not driving while intoxicated. I literally passed all of your tests. Sir, this just driver's license. Before I can turn it over to you, I gotta be able to prove that you are the registered owner. Can I show you a picture of the registration? Do you have a picture of your driver's license? I have that too, yeah. Yeah, if you got a picture of your driver's license, I just need to take that down. Get on this side? Yeah, give me a second, I'll come over there. I just, it looked like you were about to board our boat. We can't have you doing that. Sorry? When it looked like you was going to come aboard the boat, we can't have that happen. Yeah, just talking about the chicken running to the chicken. Yeah, just get tied up in here. I got you. Yeah, give me one second. Do you have any valuables on you? Phone, jewelry? My phone is in one of the jet skis. Okay. My phone is in the jet ski! That's, that's fine. Are you fine leaving it with them? The less yeah. stuff you have with you, the better? In such situations, the officers must take appropriate action to prevent accidents from happening. You sit back down for me so I could, I could change your uh, life jacket. You sit back down for me, man. You, you, she'll, she'll have it with you. You to put another life jacket on me while I have a life jacket on? I was going to give it with you, but it's going to be easier if we just take that with us. It's right there. It's right there. Y'all are tied up to it. Am I going to get some clothes at least? Yeah, they'll give you clothes too. Clothes and shoes. This is going to go on my record? I don't know. I can't answer that. You can arrest me, but you can't answer my questions? I, I, I can't tell you yes or no because I don't know the answer. How do you not know the answer? All right. So we're going to swap it out. You want to stand back up? that. Go ahead and unpop this. You have to have a life jacket on you at all times on the boat. Can I just keep this one on? This is about to be so complicated for no reason. It's up to you. I think she's fine with it. And then okay. we'll just take it off and get to the truck. Just don't get my hair in it, please. I will definitely do my best. You're right if I move it out of your foot? Please do. Where's that? This one? Yes, and the ones in my mouth. Where's that at? This one? Across my mouth. You have a Florida driver's license? Yeah. She said, yeah. Y'all could have just done a citation. I did not know the water rules. Right, so you got your pad? Yeah. Alright, you need to double check. Get her name and date of birth. Out of Florida, I can't find her, so they have to identify you. You got a, you have a current Florida driver's license, or you have like an ID card or anything like that? I don't have anything on me. I understand, you, but you've got one registered to you. I don't have anything on me. We have to be able to identify you. For what? How long until we get there? We're on our way to the truck, and then it'll probably be uh, 30 minutes to the jail. Do they have food? Uh, it depends. I don't know uh, what their procedures are as far as after you get booked. And I can't get food on the way? No, ma'am. You good if I run my stuff to the truck? No. So we'll go ahead and walk her up. Can I go ahead and stand up for me? So you don't fall and fall into the water. I'm literally walking faster than you, so. You want to walk faster? Yeah, I would like to. Thank you. 
Yo, why do you have such a tight grip? I'm literally in handcuffs, so where do you expect me to go? Can you please loosen up your grip? Thank you. Can I get this life jacket off him? We'll take it off when we get to the truck. Place his hand on top of your head when the handcuffs comes off for me. The female was charged with boating under the influence. For more videos about criminals, hit the subscribe button.